So could you touch on um, why flywheels would be ideal for lunar technology? I wouldn't say it's ideal. All I'm saying is uh, first is the uh, some of the flywheel already trying to construct prototype on the Earth and uh, on the moon, on the moon, the gravitation is, a, is a only one six. So everything become lighter and easier to build. Uh, so the levitation force is still the same, but the gravitational force is dropped by one six. The other thing is the on the moon, uh, the temperature is, a, is much cooler than on the Earth. Therefore, the cooling of the superconductor part uh, turned out to be extremely easier. Uh, so that's a, the third part is a, our, our flywheel on the Earth, we have to operate under vacuum. The moon is a big vacuum chamber. Therefore, the flywheel have no air resistance because it's all given. Therefore, a, a flywheel on the moon is really natural. So it becomes a very good energy storage. It takes the en solar energy, take the energy, and then, then s save it there. When the, you need the energy, the energy will come out. And um, beyond energy storage, are there is there the potential to use the technology for transportation? A bigger pardon? Is there the, the potential to use the technology for transportation? On the, moon? the the potential for uh, transportation. Yeah, these flywheels. Oh, I thought you were yeah. talking about tracks. Yes, uh, we were talking about the, 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 the linear uh, uh, motion and what the using the superconductor and magnet interaction. This also can configure it into a type. And the flywheel is a rotational motion without friction. But the linear motion, the, you can transport from point A to point B and by uh, without, without friction. So that's another way of, of doing it. And um, in terms of the current state of flywheel technology, could you maybe talk about uh, some of the, I know you mentioned in, uh, needed improvements in materials and bearing design and then uh, uh, challenges in, in, in uh, increasing the kilowatt hour per kilogram? Okay, on the, so right now the, the international competition on the flywheel has United States, Japan, Germany, and Korea, China, and the, there are programs in the, of all different kind of variety. So at this moment, the technology already reaching to a point the flywheel perform can store energy as much as a uh, five kilowatt hour. And then the goal for most of the uh, most of the people doing that is uh, trying to looking for ten kilowatt hour, maybe even higher. So this involving technology, trying to using composite material, build a better wheel and using better configuration between magnet and superconductor, uh, make the bearing uh, can take a more thrust and also have a better stability. So those are the uh, competition. And um, maybe could you just mention something about what work you're doing right now on flywheels? I understand you have a project that you're preparing. Okay, uh, so we are, we are one of the pioneer group. So we start a program uh, in the early 1990s. And then we uh, sort of really understand the interaction between a magnet and superconductor. We have five, five or six US patents related to that. Uh, then we also wrote some big proposals. But once the flywheel reached into a, the industrial level, and we're talking about pretty big and uh, pretty high and so on, and this is already outside the university research regime because it requires a huge amount of money and also the industry skill trying to do it. So we sort of out of the game. We got out of the game is in the late 1990s. Uh, so since then, the, the international competition started. United States is represented by Boeing. They're putting their own company money and they're matching the Department of Energy grants and trying to build a flywheel into today. So what I did describe the status and also the, the accomplishment and so on is mostly from the industry. So what we have is uh, some of the early concept and the prototype and so on. So I'm very happy about this uh, workshop, still honor our original idea and try to uh, get us trying to organize about that.